Okay, so I just picked up a uh, trailer to haul my wheelers around, and the Blazer didn't have a uh, connector to hook the uh, trailer lights to, so I thought I'd uh, try to hook some up. I picked up a set here at uh, Walmart. It's uh, the four flat connector. And I dug around up under where my uh, spare tire is, and I found that there's a series of wires under there. Um, you can see uh, I've already started to strip off some of the uh, shielding. But I thought I'd make a quick video on uh, how to go about testing uh, the, the wires because obviously there are uh, more wires than I need here. Um, they are color coded and uh, that obviously helps and they do match up in this case. But what I thought I'd do is run through how to test each one of these wires so you know um, uh, which wire should uh, go to which um, you know end on the connector. Okay, so we'll just start by uh, stripping back the uh, shielding on the other wires here. Okay, so it's really important uh, to keep the wires obviously separate and away from the ground and also keep it away from touching any metal of the vehicle as well. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and test this ground out to see if this is a good ground. And then I'm just going to go ahead and touch uh, the different wires. Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so I have the uh, alligator clip on the ground, which is white. And I just went through and I touched each one. I'm going to touch the yellow, touch the green. I've got nothing. I'm going to touch the brown. I don't know if I can get that in the shot or not. Okay. So obviously the brown is uh, the tail light. So what I'm going to, going to go do now is uh, just quickly turn on the uh, left blinker. Let's see if we can get the tester in the shot here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and touch uh, the brown. I still have tail light. There's the green. There's the yellow. Okay, so obviously the yellow is the left blinker. Um, we know that brown is the tail light, and obviously we're looking for the green to be the right blinker. So let's go flip that. And there it is. So basically, uh, white is ground, uh, brown is the uh, tail light, green is the right blinker, and uh, yellow is the left blinker. And um, in the instructions, obviously, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it does correspond uh, exactly with what the four flat connector is. Um, this is a, like a two foot connector, which I don't need. So I'm gonna cut some of this back. This Hopkins kit came with some crimp connectors, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, use those to connect my wires up to the uh, actual taillight connector. And even though I stripped off some of the uh, shielding, I'm just going to fold that back because that's going to be hidden by the connector anyways. The way these work is you put the wire in and when you crimp it down, this metal piece comes down and cuts into the shielding and makes the connection. So you don't really need to strip it back. But I just did that to, uh, for testing purposes. And I don't think it's going to work on the ground, so we may have to tape that one up. Oh, it looks like that crimp connector may work. Give it a shot here. Okay, I'm just going to tape up these other two wires. So they don't ground out on anything. I'll tape them up together first. 
not the uh, copper, just the shielding. Okay, and before I tape this all up, I'm going to actually test it out one more time real quick. Okay, so we'll just put the ground on here. There's the tail light. The right blinker is still on. There's the right blinker, and I'll go test the left blinker real quick. And there it is. So that's pretty quick and painless. Um, again, I just used the uh, Hopkins uh, trailer connector set, and this also has the, uh, the connector for the trailer end as well. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to tape this all up real, real uh, like a bundle, just to keep moisture out of there, and I'm going to tuck it up out of the way. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. Leave questions and comments below. Thanks.